for such a silly reason is what I think. That's my first issue. The other is the guaranteed income. As an educator, I worked hard to teach my students the value of free enterprise and the importance of hard work for success in life. I think guaranteed income just goes into negating all the work we as educators do. Our country was built on free enterprise and hard work, and guaranteed income is, in my eyes, a form of socialism to communism. We don't want to start people off on that kind of thing. I think it's very important to continue to promote hardworking ethics and free enterprise and not start giving handouts. We have enough that already goes out of our tax money to help those in need, and hopefully it's a temporary thing. We can continue to use counseling to get them back on their feet and get them working and active again. If they're disabled, we have disability, we have welfare, we already have plenty to help those who cannot work. That's my input for today, and I thank you very much for this chance to speak. And thank you, Ms. Ortega. Thank you. Yes. Thank uh, you for coming to our meeting as well. Oh, Anybody you're welcome. Any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, hold on, Ms. Ortega. Councilor Flores has a question. Yes. Uh, yes. What do you base your um, What do you base your opinion uh, to say on? What do you base your opinion that state where you stated that um, uh, this is not a good program because it's uh, it follows a certain guaranteed income yeah what uh, is it what is it exactly that you said I want to be sure that I understand it just from what I've read about it it sounds like it's just you know providing unearned income to certain individuals and what does that do to that person or to our society well I think it it if if you give handouts to a person they're less likely to go out and work for it what data do you have to support that there's a lot of data. I mean, if you look at the welfare rolls, um, for years and years, people were... Ma'am, I have to interrupt you. There's a man by the name of Milton Friedman, and he was a Reaganomics uh, economist, and he uh, supported uh, guaranteed uh, uh, basic income. He was a, uh, someone who believed that it would get rid of uh, welfare, and that was the purpose for having that kind of a, a guaranteed basic Councilor income. Councilor Flotus, I'm going to interrupt you at this point. Um, so I just, I just wanted to know what you were basing it on, and I don't think it's fair to the public or to yourself. And so that's why I asked the question. Thank you, Madam thank Chair, you. and thank you, Ms. Ortega. Councilor yeah. Flores, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much, Ms. Ortega. Thank you for your opinion, and um, I appreciate the chance to speak my thank you. opinion. Thank you. Thank you.